still to come, she's had Top more tip. fights, flings, romances and rings on her finger than most women in Weatherfield. Here to celebrate her 80th birthday, can you believe it? Don't miss the Queen of the Cabin, Barbara Knox on Corrie's latest love triangle, plus why she's refusing to ever retire. Quite right, that's after this break. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, here's a question. Uh, for somebody who's been engaged six times, married three times and widowed twice, how many times do you think Corrie's Rita's been proposed to? Uh, well, there was oh. Benny, there was Len, there was Alf, there was Ted, yeah. there was Fred, there was Alec, there was Alan, there was Anthony, there was Norris, there was Colin, there was Dennis. So, so that, that's 11. 11 times. Yeah. But with talk of a new love rival in store, will Rita have to fight to keep her man? Find out with birthday girl Barbara Knox. Here, that's next. On the subject of birthdays, do you fancy feeling like all of yours have come at once? Well, there's a quarter of a million pounds up for grabs. Here's how you could win every penny. Yeah, the very best of luck. Let me take you back to 1964 to a town called Weatherfield where local man Stan Ogden bought exotic dancer Rita Littlewood uh, a, a drink in the Rovers. The rest, as they say, is history. I have often walked down this street before Pavement always stays beneath easy, isn't it? my feet before. Rita, lovely Rita. Will you be my wife? That's it. Several stories high. No, and I'm on the street where you live. I never want to see you again. You compass Jess. You're not that hard, Rita. I just don't believe it. I am. Guilty. And she's here Barbara right now. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. You always, when you watch that back, you get quite emotional, oh, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Do you mean the montage or the, the last bit or the, or the tram? The, the, the whole montage, but montage. particularly that moment, obviously. Oh, it is overwhelming. Well, it's... that moment that was at the end of the clip there with, uh, with Alan getting run over by yes. the tram, was, was it 27 million 27 people million. watched that? That's incredible, 27 isn't it? million. We should, we've, we've sort of taken that out and we're going to watch that in, in its... Uh, Are you really? It, here it is now. This is... Uh, this, uh, they're, they're, they're just finding it on the machine for us oh. and, uh, and then, we'll, uh, then we'll have a look at it. Because for you, you say that was a special moment as well, wasn't it? Absolutely, probably supreme moment because we've never really topped it in many ways yeah. and we were the first to do that sort of thing. You know, the tram, the excitement, the long story. Yeah. So it means very much to me, that one. I mean, this has been a, a lifetime on screen, hasn't it, really? I mean, you think about it, 1964 when you first got that role. Yes. And did you ever imagine at that time that it would go on that she would be in our living rooms most nights for the next goodness knows how many years? In 1964, I wanted it to be, but yeah. I only did two episodes and I never heard from Granada again for years. <laughs> it was 1972 until they phoned I again, it was wasn't 71. it? Was it? <laughs> it was 71. Uh, and then when I came but again, they said, would I do two episodes? And I thought, here we go again, two episodes. And then it all changed, and yeah. I, I'm still here, thank God. Thank uh, did you think about uh, that time, that gap, the interim period? Because you almost thought, you know, I don't know whether I want to do this anymore, didn't you? There was, a, there was talk of you thinking, well... I'd... Do you mean from 64 yeah. to thinking? Well, I was back in the theatre, yeah. you know, and I, having done those two episodes with Philip Lowry, mm. I... I really thought, well, we work so well together. Oh, maybe they'll have us. Well, of course, I didn't get re re rebooked, and Philip left in 1968, and we didn't meet up again for 40 years. How did it feel that first day when you went in? Because you <gasps> said all, everyone that you had looked at, the sort of royalty of the show, were all there. That's a very good way of putting it, because I was so... I jokingly... I, no, I'm not joking. I lost my voice. And in those days, we used to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and Friday, you're in studios. And all I could see was Pat Phoenix, Elsa Tanner, and oh, my calf, and oh my God, Annie Walker. They were gods. Yes. They were gods in those days, because they were the first yeah. brilliant, you know, soap, if you must say. They called it a drama. You know, they never referred to it as a soap. Mm. And to go in there and see these people, I, by Wednesday, I was absolutely voiceless and it was sheer nerves absolutely nerves. And what were they like because you look back at those 
as I've said, those icons, the television yes. icons at the time, God. were they were they welcoming or were they were they sort of grand? A little grand. Were they? A little grand. <laughs> Which Which didn't help. Do, it doesn't, doesn't help when you're going, oh my <laughs> God, that icon. And uh, Vi was lovely. Vi Violet was Carson, absolutely yeah. lovely, yes. But it was overwhelming, quite um, honestly. Something you say you've become very good at over the years is crying. <laughs> <laughs> the art of crying on cue. I could give lessons, is that, that what you're saying? You? <laughs> I've done a lot of crying scenes, haven't I? Yeah. Yes. Wow. They, they, they actually found out that you could do that very well, and it seemed from that moment that uh, that oh, actually let's get her to cry. Oh here. no! I'm, I mean, Joan Crawford was reputedly able to. Which eye do you want me to cry out of? You know, I'm not that good, but I can. I can. Yeah. I think it's all part of my. What is it? My makeup of being an actress. Yeah. Because when you were in rep, as I was for many, many years at Oldham Rep, you had to do everything, mm. and you did. You yeah. were a Duchess one week and you were the clean of the week after or Scottish or whatever. So you learned to be able to do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And is it true, I mean, we were saying there in the setup that obviously 11 proposals, but you've kept every <laughs> one of your engagement rings. <laughs> Have you? Yes. Good for you. Yes. Do they know you've got them? <laughs> <laughs> They're only worth about five bob, but I've still got them. No, yes, I think that's, I thought, I should, yes, that's what You can't even wear them all at the same time now. No, oh, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, no, no. Um, the, uh, the the her love life continues to be complicated, it's exciting. but also also fun. There's still a lot of humour in it, isn't there? I hope so. Yes, yes. I wanted us. Uh, you're ter we're referring to uh, Philip and I yeah. now, aren't yeah. we? Where, where Rita and Dennis have got back together yeah. again? Because those two little episodes in 1964, we were fun. Now, of course, it's a bit different when you're. <clears throat> Not 24 anymore, mm. but we we try to bring some humour into it. We want that, yes. you know. Well, she's not very pleased that he's about to embark on a pop career. Oh, well, there you go. That's <laughs> fellas, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm interested. I'm very interested, and I would like to help him, mm. but we'll see where it takes us. It may go into something else. Do we have a little clip? Oh, what of? We, what have we got now? Well, this is the... <laughs> Is this there you go. This is the wedding. There you go. Is this a live this is program? The, oh, of course yes. it is. Oh, it would be, be much neater if it was oh, recorded. There, we are. there you go. Yes. That's it. Not That's the, the moment. Oh, I like that hat. I like that hat too. <laughs> <laughs> so, you say that it keeps you young, it keeps you alert. Definitely, yes. I, I, if I can, I say to people, don't retire, because you come unraveled, and the street is very, uh, well, it's every day, isn't it? You go home every night and you learn your lines, and then you go in the following morning. Now we don't have rehearsals, as you well know, so you're on your toes, you're mm. in there, and if you haven't done your prep work at night, it's very difficult. Yes. But it's wonderful to keep using your brain. And even the stimulus of going in there and something's going wrong and they haven't turned up and you're annoyed, uh, it keeps you going. Yeah. Has it changed? Because we were talking to Denise about coming back here and the memories of sort of that long time ago, but how, mm. do you feel like your time has changed there? Has it become a different programme? Well, it's totally changed because uh, all those years ago, we had the, the joy of rehearsals, which, of course, is such a help, as you yeah. know. Yes. Whereas, yeah. literally now, you know, I, when I finished here, I will go back to Manchester and change and go into the studios and do what scenes I have to do. We don't have time to rehearse, which is rotten, really, because it does help your performance. Yeah. You know, um, it, I mean, if you block something and rehearse something, yeah. well, at least you know... Um, if I fall, it doesn't matter, or whatever. And this blocking helps me to know where I am when I say that line. You have none of that now. I, uh, I can't believe for a moment you'd ever get anything wrong. No, but I we've can't. got the cake there because it is, it a, is big got a big birthday, birthday for you. Oh, my. Oh, uh, got oh look, look at that. Yes. Oh. The, oh, happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, thank, thank you very much. In, and you've got, oh. you've got your birthday party coming up, haven't you? Can I stand up? Of course no. you can. Yeah, yes. of course you can. Oh. Do you like it? I think you should give it a blow. Oh, <laughs> Happy birthday, Barbara. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Very birthday. Thank you for coming. Darling. Thank you very much. We had to have you on the show. We've right, still to come. It's so important to have you here that we've come all the way here just for you. That's you what it is. You mean it's finished? Sadly. Can't be. Yes, I oh, know. I'm so sorry. Tell yeah. everybody. We'll I'm just there. get a knife and eat that. Oh, I know. We can tuck into that. that. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> you are thank more you, than welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All um, of you. Thank Keith you Lemon's back much. with a weather map after the news. Don't miss it. See you in a moment. <laughs>
do here for you. Is that all right?